You're walking the wing stop? Yes, I'm walking the wing stop. No, I'm going to the van. Okay, what's up everybody? Today we got my 2019 Ram Pro Master, not 2019, 2018, excuse me. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. Got the cool key, I don't really like it, but I guess we'll figure it out. And this is it. So used, we got some stuff in here. Oh, it has 15,000 miles on it. I like it, it's pretty cool. So what we're gonna be doing in this van, we're gonna be renovating it out. That way I can move into it, move out of my sister's house and stop sleeping on the floor. So, goal number one is not have your neighbors look at you while you're doing this shit but got some LED panels up here that don't work. I'm not sure why. I haven't tested it to see if it's only working if you start it. So uh, that's gonna be one thing to test. Um, I was originally thinking about having the motorcycle in here, um, right along here when I'm doing these, trying to do the build out, but um, after a sudden realization that my bike is just too long for this uh, application here. So I'm, I could, technically I could have it, but the way I'm gonna have to do it is I'm gonna have to have the bed right there as a couch bed and be able to pull it out. Park the bike right here as far as possible and figure out mounting solutions and then figure out maybe kitchen, desk, and other work area solutions. Um, Cause I do wanna keep my computer, but I don't, like, my computer uses too much power. It's a 650 watt um, power supply unit. Let me get back into the good lighting for you. It's 650. So I do want to keep my computer, but I'm most likely gonna have to get a laptop because unfortunately my computer takes up too much power. So this is the van. It's silver color, it's not white, not your typical color, which is interesting. Um, right door first, no sorry, driver door first, passenger second, and just some minor cosmetic damages to it, it's a little scratches which I'm fine with, it's, it's a used car, get you that in there, so you can see this right over here, motorcycle is right here, um, you can see the scrapes from the uh, pegs. The D-rings are um, really tight, so I have actually no use for it, so we're going to take those out anyways. Um, the panels we're going to be removing. I'm going to see if I can sell them online and not throw them away, at least the good ones, um, for sale to try to offset the cost of this build, but um, unfortunately, I don't know anybody that would actually buy it. So the Rams around my area for this exact setup, size of color and stuff, are going for $23,000, but they have 150,000 miles on it. See how this door looks fine? Automatic, not automatic, uh, motor stuff. I can press a button inside of the van and these fold in automatically, so I don't have to take them out. That's pretty cool. So here is the damage you can see. That panel is over there. Um, I was thinking I can probably remove that. I just get it. two more pins, I can put that back on. Um, but this one's gonna be a little bit more of a, a hassle to figure out. So we got this pin right here. It looks like somebody was driving it and hit a pole or something along with this rocker panel. So I was looking at some ways to remove the dent on the rocker panel as much as possible with some hot glue and some wood and just pull it out with a wrench. Um, so 
So I'll be making a video on that and see if that works. Um, and hopefully the smaller dents right here, I can kind of pull out maybe a hot water trick or something and just kind of pop it back out. But I don't think I'll be able to do much with that until I get inside and try to punch out the panel. I'm gonna be taking the panel off. Um, one speaker only works on this, so that kind of sucks. Um, but, 50,000 miles for 2018. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with that. 23,000 before tax. Um, I did put zero down and um, I got gap insurance, so everything is safe um, on my end. So, let's actually get this stuff going. Gotta get used to pulling my keys out now. I was a little weird, it wouldn't let me turn the key all the way, but <clears throat> other than that, interior is pretty much flawless for a van that has 50,000 miles. There is no mirror on top of here, though there is a rear view mirror that if you want to look at yourself while you're driving and make sure you look good, um, but that has no value for me because I don't have any other windows in the van. Um, again, no mirrors on here. Got all the all the fun things. Got auxiliary USB down there. So hall mode, electronic. I don't know what that means. If you guys know what this means, go and put that in the comment section. Uh, hazards. Door locks, which is pretty cool. Let's just press that again. Unlocks everything, which is pretty convenient on the passenger side. If you want to um, unlock everything. I only have one key for this vehicle, so that does suck. Uh, other than that, I mean, just just regular, just regular things. Um, it is a V6. Unfortunately, it's not a diesel. I wish it was diesel because um, it's a little bit um, better gas mileage. But the V6 is a little bit better for pulling around all the stuff in the cargo area. So it's pretty clean, honestly. It's pretty clean for. It, it better be clean for 50,000 miles on it. Let's, uh, let's get you some dash time for you. 50,501 miles. Let me get that little focus on that. There we go. Air conditioning works great. That's the button I was talking about. Automatically does both sides. This button is the same button as that, um, I believe. So, right over there, right over here, unlock, unlock, and then lock. All right, good. So, got it. Let's go over that again. So, I have dash controls, which is really convenient. I got voice control. Turn to 98.5. Tuning to 100.5 FM. Tune to 98.5. Tuning to 98.5 FM. Let me get to the last one. Driving it was pretty good. Um, AC works great. I tested that out, um, as you might be able to hear now. Heater works good. Um, everything, it's phenomenal on this. Um, the dealership didn't fill fuel, fill up the fuel tank. So, so the dealership didn't fuel, fill, so the dealership didn't fill up the fuel tank. I have to say that three times fast. So the dealership did not fill up the gas tank and um, unfortunately, I only have like 97 miles on it and I'm not looking forward to the first fill up on this thing because your boy's a little bit broke at the moment and uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and drive. I don't know where I'm gonna stick you, if I can stick anywhere if possible. Um, I actually didn't test around with this. 
I know that I think you can get some uh, storage capability here. I don't know how to use that yet, but yeah. I'll see you guys in a minute. Um, so the speaker, let's uh, just fix this. So only one speaker works. I'm actually going to mute this right now. So only one speaker works with this um, uh, audio setup. I'm not sure what's going to go on with that left side, but um, not the left side, on the passenger side. But it should be an e easy fix, hopefully. I'm just hoping like a wire just says pull loose on the, uh, on the, uh, the speaker and Hopefully that's an easy fix. Um, I'll more diagnose that when I start putting some uh, kill mat in the doors um, for sound deadening. So while we're driving right now, uh, just trying to get a audio test for the the road noise um, to show you guys what it's like when I'm driving. So. Let's, uh, let's stop vlogging and driving and just get driving and uh, don't go over these speed bumps over like 10 miles an hour. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna try to figure out some way to put you guys in a stable place so you're not uh, turning and turning around or I'm just gonna have to... Uh, yeah, <laughs> all right. Don't vlog and drive, and I'll see you guys in a minute, okay? Um, I'm definitely gonna do another GoPro test just for the audio before and after, so go on and stay tuned for that. The back is cleaned up just a little bit. Um, well, yeah, so the back is cleaned up. Got the straps put up. You guys just saw that. Panel is back over there. And then I just tied up that wire that I'm going to be cutting out and uh, tied it. That way it won't make noise. So now what we need to do is figure out how to make this as stable as possible to do a noise test. So we're going to try one other thing out. Um, and that's these lights here to see if they start when the van is on driving. But a cool safety feature for these <laughs> Pro Masters is it's uh. You gotta put your foot on the brake before you can start it, which it makes sense. It makes sense. So I don't know what's going on with these lights. I don't know what's going on with the speaker on the passenger side. I just tried to clean the windshield with the uh, wiping function. I do need two new um, windshield wipers and the driver's side um, mister is clogged so I gotta figure uh, what's going on with that and uh, yeah wing stop is acquired so I'm hungry and I smell wing stop and it's making my mouth uh, salivate so I will see you guys in the next vid if you guys like this video please hit that subscribe button the like button helps me out other people to find this so appreciate you guys being here see you guys in the next one okay